Hello everybody, today we will be speaking about some simple thing which is the harmonic analysis and the general theoretical background of the uh, harmonic analysis is based on the Fourier series theorem and it means that if we have the periodic function, I mean the function which fulfills such a condition then, sorry for that then we are able it will be the real number we are able to expand that function into the series of the harmonic components and the general form of the Fourier series is as follows I mean it will be the a0 over 2 and here we have infinite sum of the elements sorry typically it's uh, indexed by n from 1 to the plus infinity a n times cosine n omega t plus b n sine n omega 0 t such an thing okay we can also make the square parenthesis to emphasize that fact that under the sum we have that whole expression okay and today we will start we try to manage with simple case I mean we will try to I mean what is the case determine the harmonic series of x of t and what we will assume the shape of our x of t it will be the unipolar waveform what does it mean it means that it approximately it's a wave which looks like that i mean here we have the square with the value let's say one i mean the amplitude of that signal x of t is one and here we have let's say the gap and again and again that is why as we see the sign is uniform that is why the name of that it's a uniform wave okay and particular distances we will consider the waveform the symmetric waveform that is why here we have the the length the width of the of the pulse will be t over 2 it means that it will be from minus t over 4 to plus t plus t over 4 and that gap will be exactly the same value I mean here we have the that distance is a t over 2 with the plus and here we have minus t over 2 it means that from that point to that point that value that distance that time is exactly equal t which is the period of that function okay I will emphasize that fact and I will show you where is the t okay it's easy to compute because we see that t over 2 minus minus t over 2 it's exactly t let's put that as a computation I mean t over 2 minus t over 2 and we see that's it's t okay now we have to find the coefficients a n and a b how to do that due to the Fourier series theory we have the following formulas how to solve it how to determine that things it's quite easy maybe we will do that in the next material with the theoretical background but if we are talking about the application it's as follows I mean here we have the integral over the period and it will be our function x of t times cosine n omega t over dt I mean times dt it will be integration uh, connected with the time and the same thing here but the difference is with the sine component and it's obvious because b n is connected with the sine function a n is connected with the cosine function okay nice and now we are able to compute our parameters for our function okay let's try to do that maybe I will maybe I will try to uh, do it here okay because it will be easier to 
use that formulas to compute something. Okay, uh, let's start. It means, what about a n? It will be 2 over t and it will be integral from minus t over 2 plus, because it's the integral over one period, to t over 2, I mean the initial point and the final point, we can choose whatever we want, from our x of t times cosine n omega t over dt. In our case, it's a really simple function because between t o minus t over 2 to minus t over 4, we have exactly, the value of the function is exactly equal to 0. That is why the uh, determined uh, integral it will be exactly zero. I mean, we can start with the process of the integration from, or maybe I will give that in the exact form. I mean, from the minus t over two to the minus t over four, we have zero times cosine n omega zero t over dt. Okay, plus on that area and that place, the value of the function will change. Okay, what we have to do? We have to take the function with the value 1 from the minus t over 4 to the t over 4. Okay, it means here we have another integral t over 4 to the t over 4 with 1 cosine n omega uh, n omega, oh sorry my mistake because here we see omega 0 but it's not 0, it's omega because we assumed omega and here we have the same, I mean n omega t over dt and plus, plus that last thing I mean from the plus t over 4 to the t over 2 which give us the full period we have again 0 because in that interval the value of the function is zero, here we have the zero cosine n omega t over dt. Okay, and as I mentioned previously, that value is zero because the Riemann integral is zero if the function is zero, and the same with that thing, it means we have to consider only the, uh, only the, only that integral. Uh, Again, I have to improve myself because look, I forgot about the two over two over t, okay? But it's really easy to improve. I will use the red color to emphasize where I made a mistake, okay? And let's start with the rest of that stuff. Uh, we have t over two times. I mean the times integral from the t over. 4 plus t over 4 and what we have as a result times cosine n omega t over dt and next step it's a integration of that thing we know that we know that it will be sine omega n omega t over n omega we know that thing and it will be uh, on at the point t over 4 and minus t over 4, we have to remember again about the t 2 over t. Okay, nice thing. And the next step will be the computations connected with the computations of the of the function at that point. Okay, it means that we have due to the way how we should the, compute the in, defined integral, we have that it's a sign. Oh, maybe I would again change the color to be consistent. And we have the sign n omega t over 4 times over n omega minus sign n omega t over 4 with minus over n omega and it's a result due to the due to the fact that sine is an odd function we can take the minus and put it before the function I mean the next to the function it means that we will multiply that thing by 2 it means that as a result we have 4 over t 
times parenthesis and oh sorry now we we were able to omit that thing because as I told you it will we will have to take that function twice that is why he will have the four again because of the of the fact that sine sin is an odd function I mean odd function what is the odd function odd function it's a function which are which is satisfying such a condition okay it means if we have minus uh, sorry minus is here it will be exactly the same but it's easier to understand it means that if we have the minus inside the function we if the function is odd we can put the minus outside the function okay that is why we have to take that thing twice and as a result we have the four and n omega t over 4 and here we have n omega and now everything is almost done what we have to do as a next step the next step will be connected with that fact that we have to uh, that we have to make some simple uh, changes in our function and how we can do that it will ha it will have the following form I mean, here we have that we can take, because we know that the omega is 2 pi over t, it means that the omega times t is exactly 2 pi. It means that as a result, we have sine n 2 pi over four it's a one thing and if we are talking about that thing what we will have as a result we will have that it will be if we take that part it will be omega here over n again that thing it will be 2 pi it means that we have sine n p over and pi over 2 and here we have the n pi again over 2 it means that such an expression sometimes is called as a sampling function which is uh, denoted by that term i mean it will be sync i mean sometimes it's called in different way sinus car sinus cardinalis that is why we have the sine c or sometimes like i told you the sampling function okay and it will be from that argument okay and here we have that thing as a solution of our element uh, nice what will be the next step if we are talking about our uh, computation next step it will be let's say some exercise for you because bn due to the symmetry of our function that it means that our function is even our whole function is even then it has to be zero let's try to do the same steps and then you will see that it's true let's try to check it and it will be uh, everything if we are talking about the topic of the harmonic analysis. Thank you. Bye.